so hi guys uh, so uh, in the previous tutorial we have watched a uh, tutorial regarding some very few important lines in pydroid hmm? what we should do while import uh, while creating a py game file that is these four lines of code that we see here and this uh, file uh, this file lines plus the spy game dot in it and what we should do is that, that always we should run a pygame folder within a pygame uh, whole uh, application or a pygame uh, script is within uh, a while loop while true mm -hmm. and uh, we should store the screen size uh, screen size in an object called screen these are the i'm just giving a recap on what we have seen in the last tutorial mm -hmm. and uh, yes that is uh that is where these are the few important things and the pygame.display.update uh pygame.display.update pygame.init and the file lines above are equally important now let's move on to this tutorial so today we are going to learn about what and how to draw uh, I believe that you might have understood the basic intuitive idea from the last tutorial about uh, how to uh, s do the screen dot fill which I have uh, marked with my cursor in this uh, in this page that you're viewing mm -hmm. so this screen dot fill enables us to put the color white as a background mm -hmm. now if, what if we want the color uh, what if we want the color uh, red mm? so i told you last time that this is a uh, component of r j b so we give r will give full the full uh, full value of 255 and g will give zero and uh, blue also will give zero and just just run this yes now here we got a red color background mm? now uh, no we want to do more than this we want to write something into our page so let's uh, return back to the normal value of 255 so that we'll just get a white background and uh, to write something uh, I've told you that uh, this this function uh, this object called screen is equal to pi game dot display dot set underscore mode is not necessary uh, because it does not uh, set the size of the page in Android hmm, or in the spydroid but what it does is that this object screen hmm, which I've marked is we can call this in screen dot fill hmm. so what is screen the screen is a surface hmm, and a Upon this it is just a blank surface and upon this we can fill color and upon this we can write something so to write something onto a page I'll tell you we'll have to create an another object called my font is equal to by game dot font dot sys font and here in this we'll have to give uh, two parameters and because pyroid is uh, this is a, not a premium version of Py pyroid we only have a already existing uh, uh, font that is deja vu sans and then we give the size the second parameter is the size so my font is an object and this object stores the size and the font font size and font uh, type of the uh, of any uh, of any uh, writing and now what do we have we have to give the writing so what where do we write normally we just put print something but that's not how it works now we'll have to render it to another object so we can create label is equal to it can be anything so instead of label you can write anything else and we can uh, it's another object it's another variable uh, label is equal to my font so we are calling the object my font my font stores the value of uh, font type deja vu songs and font size 64 and we will render it that means uh, we will use the font and we will add uh, some values add some value so we can add like hello well we can use the font and add some value hello world and there are uh, three more parameters you will have to give hello world one comma then uh, the color 
one as i'll explain you what this one stores for and uh, another one we have to do is uh, enter the color so we can give because it's a white background we would want something dark so we can give black color and now um, this label which stores the value of hello world with the help of my font that stores the font size and font uh, can be called into this while loop so what we'll do is we'll in to input this we will require that screen dot blit this helps us to draw an object draw this label object onto the surface of the pydroid shell so we'll just draw this so to draw this we will need to call label so blit has uh, two attributes first attribute is uh, what we are going to add so in this case is label so uh, the hello world and then we will add the size also the location so this is an x y coordinate so if we put 0 comma 0 we'll see where it will come on the page now if we save this and run it yes so hello world comes on the top left corner of the page so what do we see that uh, what we are able to see is that a 0 comma 0 means that uh, the x axis and the y axis are so 0 comma 0 is on the top left corner so as we go down as we go down the x axis uh, sorry y axis increases as we go right the x axis increases so we can put like um, 1000 comma 1000 so it's coming somewhere around at the right side of the page now if we want it to be in the center we have to do a trial and error method and uh, now we will uh, reduce the size of x because x is the uh, distance from the left side of your phone to the right side so we reduce the size to 500 and it comes somewhere here and we can even reduce it further to 400 uh yes so it's in somewhat in the center of the page so what we saw in this video is that screen dot blit enables us to add the label uh screen dot uh, label that stores the value hello world now uh we can what is the use of uh, uh my font is that because we can even create another text another text similar to uh, uh what we have seen above can just copy this and we can write something else using the same font and if we want the same font we can type in something else with using the same font that is the use of uh, this so let's just put a d and we'll just uh, screen dot split um, uh, we have to give text, comma, text, comma, and we will have to give the location. So let's give 0, comma, 0. That's the top left corner of the page. Running on this, yes, we see a D on the top left. So why did I tell you? What is the use of this number 1? Hmm? So the number 1 here is just the... Um, how if a number one tells it we'll get sharp corners mm? and uh, so if we make this in the size because if you want to see it here it has to be a pretty large size we'll just compare both of them so number zero if we focus uh, i think it is not very clear but uh, uh, in if we give number one we'll get smooth edges and if we give zero there will be sharp edges so it's according to what you want your image to be shown as yes so this is uh, on how to enter some text into this and screen dot blit now we would have uh, got a fair understanding of what screen dot blit is screen dot blit is just a method to add or draw a new uh, something something uh, an object so this object 
in the next video we can we'll i'll tell you how to add images by just replacing uh, label with some uh, if we if we if we, instead of label uh, storing the va value of hello world if we replace it with something uh, like some location of an image if we add it just an image would come so in the next video we'll see on how to add images and this is the video on uh, you will be able to understand that uh, that the layer the screen surface uh, is just firstly white in color and then you just add another layer of uh, uh, add another layer of uh, uh, hello world now i want you to uh, get a fair idea of what is actually happening so that you will get a fair idea so this is one of the most important part why i did this at the starting uh, and count is equal to zero and we will uh, explain this label or define this label inside the while loop so uh, inside the while loop so we'll get a fair understanding of what's happening and instead of hello world hello world we'll put str because only string attributes can be entered str of count so of course this is going to show zero on this but we'll show count plus is equal to one now you'll get a fair understanding of what is actually happening in the while loop see so what is happening is that infinite number of times the while loop is running hmm, just to show the screen hmm. so each time we are showing blit uh, drawing something for a millisecond it's just being drawn hmm. but while we are putting it in a function it will come for a longer time it will just keep on running it's uh, that that uh, the d which you see in the top left corner is just keep on running. it's just showing for the same it's being shown in the same place for so many times now for 2000 uh, times and it just remains stagnant that's it's it's a, a perception of our eye so this is one main important aspect of pi game this is how pi game works pi game works on the basic understanding that our eye can just take images if it is stagnant on one position it like without way much variation it just remains stagnant to our eye so the basic idea of many games is just based on this idea and we will explore this further in the next video thank you guys